aka the craziest Japanese super sub, aka the hero of Kawasaki Frontale, not to be confused with this you Kobayashi. Oh, this is <laughs> Or this Kobayashi. Uh, 62 slices uh, in 10, 12 minutes. Wow. Happy Tuesday, bros, and welcome, like I said, to the Yu Kobayashi Episodia, an absolute legend in the Japanese J League. Really quickly, want to shout out uh, Kawasaki Frontel, won their first ever J1 Japanese League title. Uh, they've been they've been founded since 1955. Kengo Nakamura's been there for uh, since 2003. Has ever had over 400 matches played for them, 67 goals, an absolute uh, one club legend, the Gerard, if you will, of the Japanese J League, and they finally get themselves a title. But today we're going to be looking at Yu Kobayashi. Got him for 11,500 coins, scored a hat-trick versus Omiya Ardija, which locked up the championship for Kawasaki Frontale, uh, the first ever J1, Jap uh, the first J1 league title that they got uh, for the club. 15 goals in 32 games for the uh, for Kawasaki Frontale last year, and then also it is looking like he is going to be the player of the year in the Japanese J League. Obviously, we're a little bit biased. We would like Poldy to get himself an SBC next year. Who knows? It could be possible, but all in all likelihood, I think it's probably going to be, uh, it is either going to be Yu Kobayashi or Kengo Nakamura, who has been there, like I said, a one-club man uh, since the beginning. But anyway, boys, now with the Yu Kobayashi card, you have one of two options. You can bring him on as a super sub, which is what I would imagine most people do, or or you could put together an incredible Japanese J-League side. Let's meet the team! Onsu Tai, El Senyo, Shoji, Makino, Yonso Kyo, Okamura, Kaue, Okamura, Aha, Ibabo, Kobayashi! Of course we had to go with Lucas Podolski. Haven't used him extensively this year, but he still has the 92 shot power. Puts him in the top 10 of players. Uh, puts him in the top 10 in FIFA 18 of regular base cards uh, with 92 shot power. Still has the 82 finishing. He can still get it done. 81 long shots. The stamina is letting him down a little bit with 68. Still has the aqua boots. Uh, and then the agility is not great. But we've got ourselves on the side two absolute Japanese cannons. Kengo Nakamura goes up to 90 plus long shots, 90 plus shot power with a finisher chem style, 53 pace. There's really no, uh, there's really no, uh, there's really no reason to boost that. It's gonna be slow anyway. And then we've got ourselves, uh, then we got ourselves Shunsuke Nakamura, who has himself 90 plus long shots and 90 plus shot power with the finisher chem style attached as well. Uh, we've got some of the other boys. We've got this guy, very, uh, he's one of the youngsters for the Japanese, uh, Japanese national team, uh, Gen Shoji, one of the better names that you're gonna find in FIFA. And then of course, up top, we had to go with the combination of Yu Kobayashi and then Victor Ibarbo, whose card still remains pretty OP, but not like he was a few years ago. But anyway, boys, we've got the full Japanese J-League side. We're going to take it into some matches, see if we can actually beast out with some of these lower-rated cards. I'm expecting a whole lot from Yu Kobayashi. He's got the four-star weak, four-star skill move. He has himself the 96 attacking positioning, which is easily... His highest rated stat in the game. He's got some other good stuff. He's got 82 finishing, uh, 91 stamina, which is really good, but then 68 strength, but makes up for it with a pretty decent ab rating. And then the composure at 70, that's going to be interesting. We haven't had a player with that low of a, a composure up at striker in quite some time. We're going to see how that actually affects his play. And then also has a decent, with the 100 chem style, his shot power and long shots go up as well. So we're going to see how he plays on that right side. If you guys are hyped for the Kobayashi full J League squad episode, yeah, smash that like button. Let's try and crush something insane like 2,000 likes in the first hour. I can't remember the last time we've done that. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That if you guys if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into match number one. You know we're gonna figure out how to say let's go in Japanese. English to Japan. <laughs> match number one, we're coming up against two youngsters from their respective nations. Rashford, who absolutely destroyed me in the third match yesterday, and then Timo Werner, the burner. Off to a hot start, six minutes in, and we've already conceded. Yo, Tai, come on, bro. At halftime, the only difference is the one goal. We've had some opportunities. He's winning possession. But I feel like there is some Japanese J-League magic waiting to be unlocked here. You ever feel like you play harder with lower rated players? Like, with the higher rated players, you expect them to do a little bit more on their own, but, like, you manually... 
Wow, okay, great save. You mainly try a little harder with lower rated players just because you feel like you have to make up for the, the rating, the rating gap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 62 slices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? It is what it is. Match number one. We've got two matches remaining. We're gonna need a big rebound. We're gonna need two big rebound matches. Uh, 62 slides in. Let's go! 1 0! The 70 composure he had guys all around him didn't seem to impact him negatively. A um, little bit of a ball roll and then a beautiful, beautiful finish. We needed, we needed that in the last match, bro. Come on. Got skills. Another half of play, and we finally get ourselves a first half goal with you, Kobayashi. Um, now, if there's one thing I would say, his attacking positioning is great. He makes he makes really really solid runs. But I'm feeling as though that 70 composure does affect him a little bit when he's surrounded by defenders. As a super talented ninja warrior, I would expect that not to be that big of a deal. But master, I don't think I'm ready. Everyone can crack the nuts with their hands. Ibarbo, how do you miss that? How do you actually miss that? Kobayashi, he had a horrible, horrible miss as well. Dudes, honestly, I think there is something to the composure rating. We're gonna have to make a concerted effort to get the Nakamuros involved because whatever you, Kobayashi, and Ibarbo are doing up top, dude, they're they're teaching each other how to. You know when you're not playing good FIFA and you just need a good snack to reinvigorate the play well? Well, today, unofficially brought to you by Frosted Mini Weeds. Frosted right and crunch in every bite. It just keeps getting worse. Like, look at that. That's Kingsley Coleman and this guy Makino. Is it just the pace? I mean, do you, are you guys seeing this? Taglia il cuore Barbo che guadagna un paio di metri con la prepotenza di accelerazione Barbo in area Barbo. Let's go Barbo! Finally, redeems himself a little bit. I'm not kidding you guys. Scoring is not coming easily for this side, but the defensive side of this squad is unreal. That was a dumb pass by me. I can't blame my defenders. That was a stupid pass by me. Woo! 2-1! He's making up a little bit for the poor performance 
um, in the first few matches. Wow. The two guys that I thought were probably going to let us down the most come up pretty clutch in this fourth, come up pretty clutch in this final match. No, 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 no! But wait, there's more. I'd like to get a hash brown. I'd like to get a hash brown. You can almost tell when it's gonna happen, too. I'd like to get a hash brown. I'd like to get a hash brown. let me down big time. Podolski in four matches played has zero goals for us. I can't speak highly enough about the defensive side of the ball, but when it came to Barbo, Kobayashi, and Poldi, just nothing was happening. The only guy that was doing stuff was Shinsuke Nakamura. For the first time in a player featurette, I'm gonna have to give a 7.8 rating, and again, I think it's probably gonna have to be it's pro I'm probably gonna have to attribute it to composure. It seemed like when he was in the box, he was getting he was getting flustered, and I think it has to do with the 70 composure. Same thing with Ibarbo. He's got 64 composure and just was not able to put chances in. So I'm gonna have to give you Kobayashi as much as I don't want to. I'm gonna have to give him a 7.8. First time I think I've given a sub eight rating uh, for a player. Now if we use him as a super sub and put him in a Real Madrid side or um, a Premier League or Bundesliga side, perhaps he would have fared a little bit better. The supporting cast, I suppose, was not great. Uh, but was really, really disappointed. Elsino, Shoji, Makino, and then Yun Suk Young have been insane. Even the keeper was pretty decent given that he's a 74 rated keeper, but the offensive side of the ball was very, very disappointing. So that is gonna be the epi 7.8 for Yui Kobayashi. If you guys use him, let me know how he performs for you in the comment section below. Was expecting a little bit more out of the four star, four star skiller. But uh, we will see if maybe one of these players on the screen right now gets himself a player of the year for the uh, for the Japanese J League. But anyway, boys, like I said, that is going to be the epi. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.